The last day of regionals before the state tournament, several teams have already punched their ticket. Can Washburn Rural Girls Soccer do the same? Well, they're already up 1-0 in the second half. McKinley Roan dumps it in. Kate Hank with the header. Ball still loose. Eddie Broxterman is going to clean it up and score. It's 2-0 Rural. Well, Derby, they're looking to cut that deficit. Kirsten Barogas with the kick and Washburn commit. Haley Beck with the nice diving save. Well, later on, Destiny Higgs with the pass to Hank. And the Panthers goalkeeper is going to make herself a nice save as well, holding on for dear life. But the Junior Blues, they're going to tack on one more. Roan to Hank, and she's going to put this one home. And that's all Washburn Rural would need. And they are headed back to the state tournament again with a 3-0 win. This time of year, you just want to keep winning, keep playing. Uh, seniors want, you know, to go to the end. And our goal every year is to make the Final Four because then uh, you know what day your season comes to an end, uh, whether it's in the championship or the third place game. So. Um, we are excited to get home playoff games. I uh, took care of business tonight and we keep rolling to next week. It's always a rush. We always enjoy to make it to state and we like to compete. We want to keep moving forward and we just did not want today to be our last game and we really showed that. And Rue will be back home for the state quarterfinals on Tuesday. Well, in the 5A bracket, Seaman welcoming St. Thomas Aquinas for the regional championship. Good crowd on hand. Well, Megan Mills is a force in the net. And she just maybe gets her fingertips on this one to prevent this goal. It's 0-0 still. Well, Aquinas, they're on the attack again. Good ball movement. But Mills again making another nice save there. But Aquinas, they would eventually score. Sydney Watts going to show off the footwork and placement and shoots it on by Mills for the goal. They lead 1-0. But Seaman, they couldn't find any more answers as they fall short of the state tournament bid. 4-1, finishing the season at 14 Two and two. Well, the four through one a bracket. Hayden Soccer up against Rose Hill early on. Nice through, nice ball here for the Rockets. Kyla Kelly, Catherine Doyle, however, closes in on Josie Palmer. A nice defense. The other end, good chance from Hayden, but Abby McCullough out of nowhere for the save. Another opportunity here for the Wildcats again. McCullough, but keeping things scoreless. But Hayden breaks through in the 38th minute. Cross from Brianna Barnett. Carson Broxterman with the finish. 1-0 at the half. Second half now, it's still that same score, 67th minute. Another great cross from Barnett. Sloan Sims finds the net for some insurance. And Hayden is going to take the 4A regional title, 2-0. Wildcats back in the state tournament for the first time since 2019. Well, over in the 3A bracket for softball, Silver Lake starting us off against Jeff West looking for the regional championship. Well, Mackenzie McDaniel at the dish, she gets that duck start to fall. One run home, but Riley Sterling, now she's throwing it at the plate. Eagles still up 1-0 though. No. Bottom three, Kyra Lowry shoots one up the middle. Taylor Zordell come on down, but then the ball's going to get away. Cabron Kruger will slide in safely. 3-0 Silver Lake. They're going to add another here on this pass ball. Zordell's going to touch home. It's 4-0. Well, bottom four we go. It's Kaylin Haney. She's going to have a nice piece of hitting. Slaps one the other way. She's going to get the RBI single. It's 5-0. Then Zordell at bat once again. She's going to sky one to left here. Going to get the RBI sack fly. It's a 6-0 game. And Silver Lake would run rule Jeff West. 10-0 your final. Well, right after the Eagles, Rossville matched up with Sabetha. They'll meet Silver Lake in the championship. Dogs up 1-0. But check this out. Bottom four. Nagos Hale goes all the way, or goes the other way. Smetha can't come up with it. Two are already home. You see she's still running. Blue Jays will throw it away, and then she's going to score. Wow, Rossville's up 4-0 on a ground out. Then Brindley Deitch was solid in the circle today, picking up a few strikeouts, including this drop third strike. And then to end it, they're going to pop it up. And Rossville, they're going to head to the regional championship with a 4-0 win over Sabetha. Now to the championship, another war on 24 edition. Emma Mitchell's going to get things going. Slaps one into left. Kenzie P. Ryan, you see, is going to score. It's one nothing dogs. But here's some solid defense from Silver Lake. McKinley Kruger with the diving stop at second to end the inning. Rossville, they're going to show some defense. Katie Spielman, she's going to get the two for the price of one. She's going to turn the double play. Nicely done. The dogs, they're going to add on. Mitchell again. Can have a nice piece of hitting. That one's going to fall on the left. It's 2-0 Rossville, top three. 3-0 three game. Ryan Leathers hits a little dribble in a third. Silver Lake, they're not going to come up with it, and Rossville's going to extend their lead. It's 4-0. Well, that's all they would need. Rossville, they are state-bound once again with a 4-1 win.